Hi, Paul Messenger here, going to show you how to demo SmartWall using the Cloud Demo Site, Public Demo Site. Big shout out to Art McConaughey for setting this up so that we could demo it in an effective way. So when you log into the Smart Client now, you'll see that we have uh, SmartWall monitors configured. You can see those down on the bottom left-hand side. You'll see the SmartWall group, the demo wall, monitor one, monitor two, and monitor three. So for a demo, what I like to do is always drive off a quad for my main monitor. And then since most of our de web demos are done remotely, I typically to do the demo, I'm just going to right click one of these smart wall views and send it to a floating window and hover it over the top of the screen. So that opened on my other monitor. But one cool thing we did with monitor one, if you pull that and lay it over the top of your standard view, what you're going to want to do now is pull out your mobile phone and do a video push because there's a rule configured to automatically change monitor one based off video push. It's pretty slick. It's kind of a two birds, one stone as well. This gives you the ability to demo smart client, smart wall, and the mobile client. So I'm going to bring over this application called Reflector, which I highly recommend. It turns any um, computer into an AirPlay device. Works with uh, Droid and iOS. So there you've got the mobile client. I'm going to sign into the public demo site. I'm going to click the video push icon down at the bottom, and I'm going to start the video push. And now pay attention to what happens uh, to monitor one once I execute the push. I'm going to start the video stream. And you're going to see it's automatically going to populate that video into the uh, monitor. So it's showing, you know, should you have a first responder, do a video push, dangerous dog in the area, you could stream that live. It's automatically going to update the wall and change so the operators are aware, hey, somebody's pushing video. We should look at this. This is important. Uh, check it out. And then once you stop that stream, you'll see after a certain amount of seconds, it's going to um, uh, go back to its originally configured preset. So that's pretty cool. I, the, the ICMs have loved demoing that, showing how a monitor can automatically change based on an incoming video push, and then it's going to go back to its standard state. So again, this is the, the value of smart wall. Anybody can take the smart client and create a bunch of views and throw those cameras up on monitors to create a video wall, but it's not smart. It's not going to adjust based on events, alarms, or schedules like you get with smart wall with expert and corporate. So now we can close that monitor one. And now I'm going to show you monitor two. Again, I'm going to send monitor two to a floating window. Drag that over. Default view for that is this uh, entry area, the coffee bar camera. And now to trigger changes on monitor two, what you can do is expand the event panel on the left-hand side. Hopefully you're familiar with some of these. You've got the ability to do the Linnell access request to do the pop-up. But um, the panic alarm, this is a way to gen generate a, an alarm and show how the alarm manager functionality works. But also, it allows you to show how um, a monitor in SmartWall can change based on, on an alarm. So I'm going to go ahead and activate panic. And you're going to see the layout of monitor 2 change. So panic's been manually triggered in the lobby. There's a lockdown in progress to secure all exits. So it shows how you're able to add text into any tile. Um, and then we've got uh, the sensor data. So you can bring up IoT data from the Halo device. You've got the lobby fisheye and then the nearest exit. And then again, after that set amount of time, it goes back to its originally configured state. Oh, shoot, no. And I need to bring up monitor two again as a floating window. Again, this is monitor two. And I'm going to activate that other event that was configured, preset. So this is just showing how um, you can quickly change the specific cameras on uh, layouts. So I'm going to activate smart wall preset two, and you'll see it'll automatically go from the lobby to the marketing uh, collaboration camera and um, the marketing camera. So collaboration marketing. Then I can activate the third preset. I close the view. When you activate the third preset, it changes the, um, I think it changes the view to uh, the door station, the access door station. So again, monitor two is up on screen. 
I'm going to activate preset three. And yeah, it's going to change the layout to the door station. Monitor three is pretty cool when there's activity. Uh, during the current quiet times in the office, there's not a lot happening. But uh, monitor three is designed to show the cameras uh, with recent motion. Um, so anytime there's motion on cameras, it's going to populate into these tiles. So the most recent motion is going to be in this tile, um, and then it goes from uh, from there to here. So the, the, it goes kind of right to left, and it's going to shuffle through the views. So you're always going to have the most recent camera uh, in the upper left, and then the next motion event, next motion event. And so when we have the office open again, and, and people walking around, you'll always see it's kind of a way to, to track. So this is um, uh, showing um, the most recent motion. So when you think about somebody monitoring a system at night, uh, they don't want to uh, look across all their cameras for where there's activity. They just want to see the most recent activity populating. First, this larger tile, and then these smaller tiles. And then as the events get old enough and new motion pops in, it eventually pushes it out. But you're always going to see the most recent six motion events um, in this uh, in this tile, if that makes sense. Kind of hard to explain, but once we have uh, more activity in the office, you'll be able to demo this effectively as well. So that's the smart client demo. And the key is to show the fact that those monitors and layouts automatically change based on events uh, without any human interaction being necessary. And then on the management side, I'll show you how this was built. You've got the smart wall. You got the ability to set up the different monitors and choose uh, the presets, for example. Um, here on monitor three, you can see the linked element insertion. That is how uh, the motion events cascade from tile to tile. Uh, from there, you can get into your presets on the smart wall and edit them. Um, and the layout is there. But what's really interesting is the rules. So when you come to the rules section, that's where you can really show the power of smart wall. And I recommend you demo before you show the rules. These rules are confusing until you show them. Uh, but here we can see video push, uh, then preset one, for example. So perform an action from video push, set the smart wall demo monitor, monitor one using one by one to show video push, blah, blah, blah. So this is how you're showing uh, the ability to use the customization, the granularity in the rules engine to make these walls and layouts do what you want them to do. And then here you can see the panic event, perform an action on panic. And then here's where you're saying what you want the wall to do. And you can even see display the text right there. So it's pretty slick and it's a good way to highlight the power of the rule engine, especially when it's working in conjunction with something like the smart wall. So thanks everyone. I hope you'll show this off and send us feedback. But again, a lot, a big, um, big shout out to Art McConaughey for getting this configured so that we can do a smart wall demo using the cloud demo site. Take care.